Good morning, it's Tuesday, April the 7th, and you're watching Agoracom Small Cap News TV. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Agoracom TV is a daily, fast-paced, edgy show, bringing the best press releases at the open, along with the halt, so that you can hopefully profit from them and potentially find your next great small cap investment. We've got four great press releases for you this morning, two from the U.S. side, two from the Canadian side, no halts to report on in the second segment. So without any further ado, let's get down to business. Our lead story comes from a company called Otis Gold Corp. They trade on the venture under the symbol OOO. The company is announcing favorable drilling results from their last two holes of a four-core hole, which took place last year, late fall 2008. It was a 2,100-foot drill program at its Kilgore Gold Project, which was located in Clark County, Idaho. I've got highlights from the program, which include hole number eight. I've got a couple of intercepts to report on. 13 meters of six grams per ton of gold. And included within that, we've got seven meters of nine grams per ton of gold. Further down hole, we've got 20 meters of 55 grams per ton of gold. Congratulations to Craig Lindsay and Mike Belantis, our good friends at Otis Gold. Uh, a little bit about the company. They currently own five precious metal projects located in Idaho and Nevada, two of which, including Kilgore, have NI43101 compliant resources, totaling in excess of 700,000 ounces of gold. So once again, congratulations, guys. The price lost at 30 cents, high of 55 cents, low of 15 cents, and the market cap of approximately $3 million. Moving on to Gold Source Mines, they trade on the venture under the symbol GXS. Don't let the name Gold Source fool you, it's actually a coal company. Uh, they're announcing that they've completed their 2009 winter drilling program located near Hudson Bay, Saskatchewan in Canada. Highlights include uh, 97 holes drilled at the border to date and 34 contain aggregate coal intercepts ranging from 10 to 100 meters in true thickness and the coal was discovered in a total of 44 holes. So they're about 50% hit ratio. Uh, hole number 48 intercepted aggregate coal intervals of 44 meters of bright to dull coal and hole number 73 intercepted aggregate coal intervals of 40 meters of bright to dull coal. Uh, now a little bit about the company, they're focused on discovery of new coal deposit and potential regional trend in Saskatchewan and Manitoba, Canada, might want to consider changing their name to Coal Source Mines. Uh, companies lost at $2.18, 52-week high of $19.60, low of $0.19, cents, and the market cap of approximately $46 million. Moving on to the U.S. side, China Energy Recovery, they trade on the bulletin board under the symbol CGYV. The company is announcing a contract to design and manufacture two sets of waste heat recovery systems for a phosphate fertilizer producer in China. Uh, according to this, the contract amounts to approximately $1.5 million U.S. A little bit about the company. They're an international leader in designing, manufacturing, and installing waste heat energy recovering systems, which provide facilities with greater energy efficiency. The company's primary focus is on the Chinese market. They're last at $1.70. High of $12.90, low of $0.82, cents, and a market cap of approximately $51 million. And moving on to our last press release, comes out of a company called Solar Energy Initiatives on the bulletin board under the symbol SNRY. The company announced the signing of a letter of intent worth $6.5 million to install solar panels on municipal buildings. Uh, it is estimated the installation of the project is expected to begin within the next few months. And solar energy initiatives will sell the, new generated, the newly generated solar energy to the school district at a discounted rate compared to what they'd get it from the current electricity provider. A uh, little bit about the company. Um, they are a solar energy provider. Uh, okay. Uh, last at 37 cents, 52 week high of a dollar, low of 13 cents, and the mark cap of approximately $5 million. That's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. I'm your host, Paul Kandakos. Make sure to tune in again tomorrow. We've got more great press releases and halts at the open for you.